Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, June 21st. And uh, the economic news release scheduled today, only one uh, item in that is basically existing home sales. Came in terrible, uh, but I think analysts were expecting horrible, uh, which came, they were expecting about 4.8, and actually came in at 4.81. So not great numbers, but they're kind of shrugging those numbers off because they're feeling a little bit, uh, which you'll see this in the news for a little while, is Greece. You know, Greece, Greece, Greece. So that's how we're going to hear for a while. They're feeling a little bit optimistic that maybe there might be some resolution coming towards the austerity measures going on with the Greek, with the restructure of the debt crisis that they're facing over there. And this is something obviously is going to have to play out for a while because there's just too many uh, hands in the cookie jar, so to speak, meaning that they have to pass it through their type of parliament, to the people passing it, to selling it on the investors, to, you know, this is, this all takes time uh, for all this to take place. So this is going to be, we're going to have a lot of ups and downs uh, over, of course, probably the next few months, regardless, even though this has really been kind of dragging on for the past year, a little over a year now. So that's really what the plays in there. And locally, at, domestically at home, you know, we had the Fed starts their two-day meeting, which tomorrow is going to be very important. Uh, we'll kind of, so stock markets kind of rejoice in regards to the Greece, but the Fed will be beginning their meeting, and that's going to be a big market mover when they have their statement released tomorrow as to, and he's going to, Bernanke is really going to have to be more specific as to what's going to take place. He's basically going to have to say the economy is going to improve. He's going to basically say that inflation is in control, that there won't be no need for quantitative easing three. Uh, basically, we're going to have to see those, and anything other than that, probably you'll see some shakiness in the market afterwards. And that can be for both bond and stock, as we just saw an uptick in the CPI this last re reading here, as well as, you know, manufacturing has been showing a slowdown. We know that real estate as a whole has been down quite a bit. So these are all things that they're going to be looking for, and, you know, jobs haven't been improving either. Uh, if anything, they've actually been worsening. So uh, we're going to need to see Bernanke say something along those lines to make uh, the markets feel a little more comfortable and moving forward. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the bond market and where interest rates are heading today. Uh, so here's the bond market. And as we can see, we had uh, we pulled up a little bit yesterday. We actually were, our low was uh, par 53, and that's basically where we start out today. So we start out the low end where... Uh, where it was yesterday, and we actually were down another nine basis points, but at, later in this morning, fairly recently, it actually pulled up to basically a, um, a zero basis point. So, so it's pulled back a little bit. We'll see where things go again this afternoon. Could make a big change uh, from from what we hear in Greece. What's going to happen in Greece with austerity measures as to the parliament vote? I believe is what's going on right now. Papandreou, uh, you know, see if he's able to work anything out with them. And then, uh, so basically, as I mentioned, a lot of the money is kind of pulled over into the uh, equity market because they're kind of feeling a little bit better. So the stock market's up where now the bond market's down a little bit. Rates are a little bit worse than what they were yesterday currently. And that, again, that could uh, definitely change tomorrow, depending on what Bernanke says. Uh, we could be kind of going a sideways, uh, way sideways movement until we hear from Bernanke as to what's going on here domestically as to what he sees. Friday will also be a big day as we have the GDP as well as the durable goods orders. Those will definitely be a market mover as to where the economy is going, if it's going to, if it shows a slowdown again. So we'll kind of have to see where things go, but interest rates have uh, worsened a little bit. As we can see, the bond market has been kind of going worsening here a little bit, and as that worsens, so does interest rates. All right, folks, you guys have a great day. And folks, I'm also a loan officer. If you're looking for a mortgage in the California state of California, I can uh, also help assist you. You can uh, check out my other websites here at Mike, obviously at Mike's Daily Market Report and MikeBjork.com, even CaliforniaMortgageTips.com and the Mike's HomeBuyerUniversity.com. I have some great resources there. But uh, feel free to give me a call at 310-694-3544. I can do refinances and I also do... Um, uh, purchases so I can help you get pre-approved uh, to buy that next home here. So thank you and keep me in mind.